Hello, my name is Lily. I am one of TickerDD.com AI bots, here for your daily stonking. This video does not contain or offer any qualified, accredited, or professional investment or financial information, research, advice, or product and services. See important disclaimer at the end of this video. This video is only for your entertainment purposes. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, let's get started. MLI went public on February 25, 1991, which was roughly 31 years ago. Looking back 650 calendar days from Wednesday, June 8, 2022, we found 448 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for MLI after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is shown, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our AI model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. For now, let's dive into price and volume analysis. Hello, my name is Sam. What was end of day price and volume for MLI? On Wednesday, June 8, 2022, MLI had an end of day price of $58.18 and volume of about 0.2 million. Compared to the previous trading day, the price dropped 2.48%, losing $1.48, while volume dropped 26.16%, decreasing about 0.1 million. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $6.81, the max and minimum end-of-day price were respectively 59.66 and 52.85. Volume saw a range of 442.3 thousand, dropping 140.1 thousand and jumping 582.4 thousand. Hello, my name is Magnus. How did the 8th of June 2022 rank for MLI by 650 calendar day look back to August 28, 2020, across 448 trading days, of which the 8th of June 2022 price ranked 35 while its volume ranked 280. Each of the 448 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 448 being the lowest ranked day. The prices day over day percentage change, dropping minus 2.48% on the 8th of June 2022, had a day rank of 412 while its dollar difference of minus $1.48 had a rank of 427 when compared day over day across 447 trading days, volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 350 and 341. Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did the 8th of June 2022 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 448 trading days, the maximum end of day price for MLI was $62.64 while the minimum was $26.26. .26. Within that price range, the 8th of June 2022 price, of $58.18, landed within the fourth quartile, meaning that it was within the top 25% of all sampled end of day prices. The day's volume landed within the second quartile, that is within the 25% to 50% range of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 1.7 million and a minimum of 64.2 thousand. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, MLI has a median price of $44.04, therefore, the 8th of June 2022 price was higher from that middle marker by 32.1%. The day's volume of 0.2 million was less than the median by 11.46%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for MLI? Across 448 trading days, there were a total of 21 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended up while monthly volume average trended up. The maximum end of month average price was $58.18 for 11 2021, while the minimum was $28.35 for 09 2020.
looking at volume 02 2022 and 08 2021 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 399.5 thousand and 182.8 thousand Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for MLI? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 21 month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative, then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 08, 2020 to 04, 2022, 14 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change in average price. That is 67% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 21 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 100% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end-of-month max of 1.20% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 2.62%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 57.16% and 0.51%. Hello, my name is Cameron. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe to Ticker DD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos of subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, join the Ticker DD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has MLI price reached golden or death crosses? Golden cross and death cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short-term versus a long-term range. For example, 5-day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a golden cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short-term moving average crosses above its long-term average, vice versa. A death cross is a bearish signal when the short-term crosses below its long-term moving average. For our opinionated analysis of third-party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average SMA and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50-day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black? If no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end-of-day prices. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50-day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We found golden cross signal for the 10 to 20. We found death cross signal for the 30 to 50. We could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 5 to 10, the 50 to 200. Hello, my name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here is what I found, Muller Industries, Inc. manufactures and sells copper, brass, aluminum, and plastic products in the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, South Korea, the Middle East, China, and Mexico. It operates through three segments, piping systems, industrial metals, and climate. The piping system segment offers copper tubes, fittings, line sets, and pipe nipples. PEX plumbing and radiant systems, and plumbing-related fittings and plastic injection tooling. It also resells steel pipes, brass and plastic plumbing valves, malleable iron fittings and faucets, and plumbing specialties, and supplies water tubes. This segment sells its products to wholesalers in the plumbing and refrigeration markets, distributors to the manufactured housing and recreational vehicle industries, building material retailers, and air conditioning original equipment manufacturers OEMs. The industrial metals segment manufactures brass, bronze, and copper alloy rods, plumbing brass, valves, and fittings, cold form aluminum and copper products, machining of aluminum, steel, brass, and cast iron impacts and castings, brass and aluminum forgings, brass, aluminum, and stainless steel valves, fluid control solutions, and gas train assembles to OEMs in the industrial, construction, HVAC plumbing, and refrigeration markets. The climate segment offers valves 
valves, protection devices, and brass fittings for various OEMs in the commercial HVAC and refrigeration markets, high pressure components and accessories for the air conditioning and refrigeration markets, coaxial heat exchangers and twisted tubes for the HVAC, geothermal, refrigeration, swimming pool heat pump, marine, ice machine, commercial boiler, and heat reclamation markets, insulated HVAC flexible duct systems, and brazed manifolds, headers, and distributor assemblies. The company was founded in 1917 and is headquartered in Collierville, Tennessee. Hello, it is me again, Lily. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos. On April 22, 2022, Ticker DD was acquired by a joint venture between a technology and a media company, operating out of Frankfurt and Berlin, Germany. Important disclaimer, this video and its content, video, is for entertainment purposes only. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment and financial advice, information, data, research, product, service, recommendation or otherwise, are presented, marketed, or offered in this video. Additionally, no warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertions are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified licensed professional for your investment and financial needs, do so away from Ticker DD and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotic stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trial and error. This group of novices are not licensed, accredited, or qualified financial or investment professionals. This video is only material for entertainment purposes. This generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by TickerDD, is only for this group of novices' private usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, TickerDD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trial and error, of technologies and data that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning and in-progress machine training. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Remember that bots, data models, data, and methods may include hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, as well as errors and unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, off the as-of-date, listed on this slide, as well as by its sourced and abstracted third-party public data, is offered as is. Your access, view, and share of this video constitute your acknowledged agreement to this important disclaimer and that, specifically, this video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not take actions or make decisions off it, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access, view, and share of this video, against Ticker DD and its affiliates. The people and entities, affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.